Hello everybody and welcome to my next tutorial. Um, this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you um, about giving you some improvements to help create your platform engine. U ultimately this is an engine and if you don't know what an engine is, an engine is basically a foundation to make the certain type of game you want to create. So this is a platform engine. So if you were to reuse this code to make another platform game, it would be relatively the same code, just tweaking a few things here and there, and you can make a brand new game with the same code. So that's ultimately what an engine is, right? So even if you want to make a remake of the Super Mario game, we have the collision built in, we have the map loader built in, the collision map built in, the camera built in, and everything else. So all you have to do is tweak the little things to load in textures and all that stuff to make your game come alive, right? And then tweak the enemy AI to fit what you want and all that other stuff, right? That's what we're ultimately building. So anyways, um, in this tutorial, we're just going to be getting the map size X and the map size Y without you having to put it in the text file like before because if your map gets too big and you you don't want to be counting how much space is wide or how many spaces long your map is right so it's a simple way to go about it to let your program do it for you and it's more efficient so what you need to do is include the string and include the algorithm classes I want to really explain what the algorithm class does you can search it up for yourself um, on Google and we're gonna make a string um, called line that's it so let's go to map.cpp um, now right here I put map size y is equal to zero I'll delete that there's a reason why and you're gonna see a lot of code is different here and there's a few things I'm gonna have to add and stuff cuz yeah so if you never learned about the get line function it's it says it does exactly what it says it gets a line in the text in whatever so right now we want to get a line from the text file right this is our text file is called open file so you want to get the line from the open file and store it in our variable line so it's a string variable so the variable um the string is a class it's a string class so it has the member um function erase so I won't get into into depth with this, but basically it will remove all the spaces that from the line that we got in the text file. So right here, you notice there's a bunch of spaces in between the numbers. It will remove all these spaces, remove all the spaces from the first line that it got, right? So yeah, so let's go back to the program. So then we set map size x equal to the line dot length after we remove the spaces. So Remember, our map size was 20 by 15, so we all know it's 20 spaces wide. So if you remove this, we put what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if we did that, right, the length of this, of this the length of the string is 20 spaces, right? So ultimately, map size x is going to be equal to 20, which is what we want. So if you have any questions for that, you can leave a comment but basically map size x is going to be set equal to 20 using just this now we just read from the text file now we have to have a way to set it back to the top of the text file right uh so we put open file dot seek g zero and we're gonna put uh what is it again ios beg and basically what this does is it sets it back to the beginning of our text file again and right as we do that we're gonna put map size y is equal to zero so you can search more into this stuff but it basically resets it back to the top of the text file so we can now with our while loop get all the contents of our text file so now that we set map size y to zero we have to find a way to actually get the real map size y value right so in order to do that uh, we put map size plus map size y plus plus after the load counter x is greater than or equal to map size x if statement. And by the end of this, you will get the real value map size y will be equal to 15 and map size x will be equal to 20. And just to show you a test, you can copy and paste. Oh, well, 
my bad. Not you can't really copy paste, but you can copy this and put it in your code. And the percent i if you're a C programmer is if you're not a C programmer, the percent i means integer. So we're gonna and then we put the integer name over here. So it's gonna say map size x and it's gonna say twenty. It's gonna replace this with twenty because that's the map size x value. It's gonna say map size y percent i and it's gonna the percent i is gonna be replaced with fifteen. That's the map size y value. And um, let's just run this program just to make sure it works. Uh, Control F5 to run your program. And map size x is equal to 20. Click OK. Map size y is equal to 15. Click OK. And our map is still the same. You still do everything you want to do in it and jump and all that stuff. So it's the exact same program as we had before, but it's a more efficient way to get the map size x and map size y. So if you decide to do this, make sure you delete the 20 and the 15 at the top and just have your map size x and map size y. Now we want to do the same thing in our collision class. And I won't go through it because it's the exact same code. It's just you have to, there's nothing, any, there's nothing different. It's the exact same code that you have to just put into the collision class. So you put the string, you can include the algorithm in the string class and do a string variable named line again and do the exact same thing and you'll get the same results. And when you look at your collision map file, you just have to change it from putting 20 by 15 to just having the actual file. And that's all you have to do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. The next tutorial is going to be building levels. So thanks for watching. And bye.